All right, folks, so we are at Zakang today and we are going to create something here. Greetings uh, to all the people watching this video right now. I just hope you're doing fine because I've been hearing about a lot of landslides, a lot of heavy rainfall. And obviously we know about the 2020 situation so uh, I just hope you're safe you know and just stay care okay guys so this vlog is a little different than the regular vlogs that I do okay because I'm almost 1k sub 1k supporters because you guys have done your part you guys have shared commented liked, subscribed and you guys have supported me and I and I hope that I'll be able to uh, execute the same kind of quality that I have been doing in my channel so since I'm almost 1K, I, I feel like as if I should give back to the community something that you guys can learn. So I'm at this restaurant called Zakang today. It's a Bhutanese cuisine restaurant. And the owner here hired me to do this uh, virtual tour. And a lot of you guys have been asking me about how do I make this virtual tour? So today I'm going to uh, shoot the virtual tour and simultaneously vlog and explain the process behind creating the virtual tour. So it's gonna be a learning curve for you guys as well. and. I hope you guys enjoy it. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is the gears and equipment. Obviously, you need a 360 camera for this because uh, you need that 360 perspective for all the shots that you take. Uh, if you are doing photography, I totally recommend the Reiko Theta V, which I also use. If you are doing video work, then Insta 361 or Insta 360X would be a better choice for you. So yeah, uh, second piece would be uh, you need something where your camera sits on, a monopod, tripod, anything would do. I personally use uh, this one because it extends and stuff. So this is a selfie stick, it's very lightweight so I'm just like lazy to carry it around. So uh, you have this uh, universal mount out here, it's not like the GoPro so I can just like uh, mount it in like that, okay. And yeah, we just screw it in. And there you go, you have this uh, setup, but it doesn't have the legs. So lucky for me, I have a Ron in S and then it has a female mount too. So I can just have the tripod leg of the Ron in S, which I use and just mount it in. So this is my entire virtual door setup, that's it. So now coming to the camera settings, uh, before you even take the shot, just scout around and see if there are any uh, untidy areas uh, which you can fix it because sometimes the uh, staff tend to miss out on certain things. Since you are the photographer, you know the angle, so just tidy the place around. Second, just turn on the ambient light as much as possible because what I've noticed is while shooting real estate, there is a lot of contrast between the highlights, the windows and the shadows that is the inside of the room. So the trick is you do exposure bracketing, okay? So what exposure bracketing does is you take three pictures depending upon the dynamic range uh, that you want. So what I like to do is I like to first expose for the highlights, okay, leaving the interiors of the room as dark as possible. So I expose for the highlights, I take that one shot. Second, with the same angle, what I do is I take the exposure of the uh, shadows. So I expose the shadows properly, that is the interiors of the room. Take a shot. Third, I like to come somewhere in between so that I have a reference point. So I'll club them all together, merge them all together into a high dynamic range photograph in my editing software. And camera settings, nothing fancy. All you have to do is compensate with the shutter speed because uh, the aperture is fixed in uh, the 360 camera which I use. So you don't have to worry about that f2.8 fixed. I so keep it as low as possible. You don't want a grainy uh, virtual tour. So all you have to do is compensate with your shutter speed. Even if your shutter speed lights very slow, doesn't matter because you have it in the monopod so you don't have to worry about the motion blur and stuff. I think that's pretty much for the camera settings. So another point would be planning your shots before you actually arrive. Uh, when you end up gigs like this, uh, you normally do it over the phone or through a text so you don't have an idea about as to how the property looks. So it's always nice to meet the owner or the manager and then have this leisurely stroll talking to him about what your views are a communication with the owner and having a survey of the property beforehand helps a lot in uh, 
planning these virtual tours because you don't want to come at the day of the shoot itself and start shooting you know aimlessly so there are a few tips and tricks that i want to share with you guys uh, which i've learned over the years avoid people you don't want them to be staring at the frame or just walking by because it's a lot of hassle editing them another thing would be uh, when you're taking the picture so you have the selfie stick okay, just right below the camera that can be avoided automatically but the tripod legs will be seen in each and every frame that you take and you'll have to remove that manually in the editing software so when you're placing your camera just make sure that you don't have a lot of texture on the ground because if you clone stamp or content aware of that it'll be a lot of hassle to uh, mimic uh, the surrounding area so you might end up just uh, not blending it well properly so look for plain surfaces where you can just easily remove the legs and people won't even know that you know some editing has been done so that and another thing would be if there's a lot of contrast between the highlights and the shadows don't face one of the lens of the camera on direct sunlight because what that would do is uh, it would get all the exposure, all the brightness in one lens and the other will be kept in complete darkness. So you'll have a very uh, unnatural looking exposure in your final 360 image. So what you can do is, you can just like tilt your camera or twist your camera in 90 degrees so that it's, it's like at an angle where uh, the sun rays hit both the lenses evenly and you get a, a better looking exposure, a much more natural exposure than the, you know, they are natural so so the final thing is the software and the editing process that I have to go through so I just want to touch on this topic in brief because it's gonna be a very lengthy video or else so just to be on the brief side uh, Lightroom and Photoshop is something that I use before making the tour so I'll do all the adjustment uh, creating HDR removing unwanted stuff color grading color correcting and doing all the text, uh, logo, uh, all the stuff that Lightroom and Photoshop does. But the main software that I use in creating this virtual tour is called Theasis. So Theasis is nothing but this online platform. It's a website where you can upload all your panoramas and create this tour. You have all these directing arrows, you have this uh, leveling features, you can level the horizon of your 360 uh, photos, you can do backtracking, you can upload a background sound, you can do a lot of things uh, in this software. But obviously it's not free, it comes with a small fee, a monthly subscription or an annual subscription. It depends upon like how continually you're working on your virtual projects so accordingly you can choose a plan but good thing about this is they at least give you a five panoramas to upload it for free and then you can at least get the hang of the software as to how it looks you know whether it's feasible for uh, the kind of work you do or not so uh, make a virtual door of your room or something just practice and then you'll be good to go so yeah uh, having said that i think i'm gonna wrap up my shoot here as well i have a few shots to take uh, I'll have to go and meet the owner, we'll have to discuss certain things. I'll go home and edit the tour. It'll be out uh, on the Zakang uh, Facebook or Instagram page, so you can check that out. Maybe even on my page. So just uh, uh, see the tour, okay? Yeah, I think that is pretty much it. So thank you. Dhanibad video here, Dinu Vaikuma. And I'll see you guys uh, very, very soon. Okay, just take care and be safe. Bye-bye.